Hello, we are almost uh, to the last session, into the last session on linear equation in one variable. Now we will be taking up a few word problems again. This one I will be writing down first. It says, Hamid has three boxes with different fruits in it. Now the boxes are named as A, B and C. Box A weighs 2 and half kgs. Sorry, it weighs 2 and half kgs more than box B. And box C weighs 10 1 by 4 kg more than box B. The total weight of the boxes is 48 3 by 4 so, how many kg does box B weigh? We are given three boxes. Let's write down them about separately. This is about box A. This is, when I'm saying box A, I'm always mentioning about the weight because it's all about, the question is about weight. So, it is about box B we'll be writing and here we'll be writing about box C. If you see, then box A is informed in terms of box B and box C has been informed in terms of box B as well. So, let us take box B as X kgs. Let the V be X kgs for box B. Now what has been written here? See box A weighs 2 whole 1 by 2 kg more than box B. So box A will be X that is the way of box B plus 2 whole 1 by 4 and that if I convert becomes 5 by 2 kgs. This is whole, right? This will be whole kgs like x plus 5 by 2 kgs. Similarly, c is 10 whole 1 by 4, that is 41 by 4 kg more than box b. So, again I will write x plus, that is 41 by 4, 41 by 4, the whole kgs. Now, this sum of all these ways will be 48, 3 whole by 4. Now, 40 whole, 48, 3 by 4 gives me like, I'm getting it as 195 by 4. So, this is 195 by 4 kgs. So, let us find out box A because it informs us that the way of box A plus box B plus box C these are all ways. This is equal to 195 by 4 kgs. So, let us represent here the way of box X, whatever we had written there. Now, I don't put this uh, bracket anymore because we have to solve this and find the value of X. This is A. We had taken B as X. So, and C I have written as X plus 41 by 4. This is all equal to 195 by 4 kg. Now, if we solve, I'm getting it as 3x, right? Or 1, 2, 3. Now, or I can directly take the LCM and solve it. That we can do. I mean, both ways you can do. Either you solve that or you put all the x together, it makes it 6x and then take the fractions and solve or you <coughs> or you can give them a common denominator or so on. I will just write here as 3x 
and I carry everything to the right. So it is 195 upon 4 minus I have 5 by 2. Then again I have 41 by 4. Now on this side it will remain as 3x as it is. On the right if I give them a common denominator I am left with 195 minus 10 minus 41. So it is 195 minus 51 that is giving me 144. So it is 3 sorry this is nothing. Let it be a 3x there. Mm -hmm. So this 3x is equal to 144 upon 4. I just solved this part here. So x becomes 144 into, uh, sorry, no, not into, 3 will go down. So 144 divided by 3 into 4, that's 12. And 144 divided by 12 gives us 12. So way of box x is actually 12 kg. Hope you followed. Let us take up on another question. The next one being on sales price and cost price. I write the question down here. A man sold an article for rupees four ninety five and gained ten percent on it find the cost price of the article that means the selling price I'll just be writing SP and uh, CP for it <coughs> SP is given to be 495 so let us assume the cost price to be x what does our formula says so what will be the gain in value i'll write the profit in value or the gain in value will be 10 percent of x so it is 10 by 100 x so it is x by 10 We know that selling price is equal to cost price plus profit. So our selling price we substitute by 495. We got our cost price to be x. Now we have also shown on the above part that profit is given or expressed as x by 10. If we solve this, because here I am getting 10x plus x by 10 of 495 is 11x by 10 so x becomes 495 into 10 by 11 i think that will give me like 11 if i cancel 4 is a 44 so it's 5 and that's giving me 450 right so that's the cost price okay that's the cross price because we had assumed x to be the cost price let's take on another question let me write down the question here it says the sum of two numbers is 45 and their ratio is 7 is to 8 we have to find the numbers now as because it is talking about two numbers let's suppose this is a number this one is another now if I assume first number be x so the other number will be 45 minus x because it has informed some of them to be sorry 
the sum of these numbers to be 45. Now it says their ratio is in 7 is to 8. That means x is to 45 minus 5 is equal to 7 is to 8. Let's just write down. So that's ratio is expressed as H ratio of these numbers is x by this. This is equal to 7 is to 8. Now if we solve and get our digits to be x and the 45, sorry the numbers to be x, the other one will be 45 minus x. Let's cross multiply. We had learnt these kind of solutions before. I am just solving them as simply. So what I am getting is 45 into 7, so it's 35, 28, 315 minus 7x. Now I will carry 7x to the left. That makes it 8x plus 7x is equal to 315. Thereby giving 8 plus 15x is equal to 15. Sorry, a 15x is equal to 315. Thereby making it x as 315 by 15. 15, 2 is 30 and 1. So it is 21. Now if one number is this is 21. So other one will be 45 minus 21. That's giving me 24. So the two numbers are 24 and 21. So the answer will be 21 and 24. Let's move on with one more question. I write the question here. The length of a rectangle, whenever you are reading these kind of word problems, always try to understand and write and express them algebraically according to as you would simply narrate a, a statement. That will always help. Whatever is given, try to give the same into an algebraic expression. Its breadth or width, oh I made a spell mistake there. At a break by 4 centimeter. If length and breadth are each increased by 3 centimeter, the area of the new rectangle. will be 81 square centimeter 81 square centimeters are you more than that of the given rectangle find the length breadth of the given rectangle find the length of length and breadth of the given rectangle. Whatever we have to find, let us assume that to be, because now length is given in terms of uh, breadth, I will be taking breadth as x centimeter. So, let the breadth of the given the rectangle to be x centimeter. Now, if length is given, sorry, breadth is um, x centimeter, length is given in terms of breadth plus 4 centimeter. So, our length will be x plus 4 centimeter. So, when this is the length and the weight, what will be the area? So, area of the old one becomes x into x plus 4. This is the area of the old one. 
which I think I'm getting as it's x square plus 4x. Now move on to the new one. It says the length and width both to be increased by x. So the length will be x plus 7 because it is x plus 4 plus 3 that will be x plus 7 and now the width will be or the breadth will be x plus 3. So the new area becomes x plus 7 into x plus 3 because the area of a rectangle is given by length into breadth. If we solve this I am getting x square plus 7x plus uh, sorry, I made a mistake here. It is x square plus 3x. And then it is 7x plus 21. So, I am getting it as x square plus 10x plus 21. This is the new area. Now, it says the new area is 81 square centimeter more than the old one. So, this is the old one plus 81 is the new area if we solve this we'll be getting the value of x thereby finding the length as well because now this and this will get cancelled so i'm getting a 4x minus 10x is equal to 21 minus 81 I'm getting minus 6x is equal to minus 60 is getting cancelled x i am getting as 60 by 6 that is 10 now if the width is 10 that we had taken the width to be 10 then length will become 10 plus 4 that is 14 that's our answer because they wanted us to find the length and width of the given rectangle thank you